Hi, my name is Ruchi Sharma, and I'm a security engineer at Checkpoint for Northern California. Hi, my name is Katya Cruz, and I'm also a security engineer working with Ruchi here at Checkpoint. So, Ruchi, uh, how did you end up, you know, in the cybersecurity industry? Yes, it's a long story, but uh, I would say that my background was mostly in networking, and uh, I went to college for networking, and I um, worked in the networking space and focused on wireless networks. Over time, I started to see that wireless networks required extra security and we had to develop solutions for that. And that got me interested into security as a whole. And mm -hmm. uh, so I moved into cybersecurity as, uh, as with time. That's great. How yeah. about you, Katya? How did you get started? So I got to into cyber security by chance, to be honest. Uh, so I was actually attending uh, college. Um, I have a degree in computer science. So I was a help desk uh, support intern, basically. And I was working for this tech DST uh, company back in Brazil, and they had a, a position open for sales engineer intern. So I was basically invited to join them and I just love it. You know, I fell in love and I was really lucky to be honest because back then I will give my age <laughs> away, but uh, basically I was really lucky enough because back then, cybersecurity was not even a thing. So I just was lucky and fell in love with the technology. Oh, that's yeah, great, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the fact that we were able to get into this field from such different backgrounds mm -hmm. uh, speaks to how cybersecurity is such a large space and mm -hmm. people from various backgrounds um, can make a big difference. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And uh, how has been your experience in the field? So. I would say that as a as a security engineer or as a sales engineer in general, um, since um, I've always been um, involved in the network side and trying to understand the big picture, I've really enjoyed um, the technology as such. Um, as a female security engineer, I found that in the in the beginning we do tend to double check a lot of what we do. We don't want to be in the room. We don't want to be a minority in the room and then make a mistake. So we do a lot more homework than I think um, a lot of other um, people may have to do. But I found that to be very common uh, in our profession that as a female security engineer, we do a lot more homework. We go in, we try to make sure that we we have all of the information with us. Mm -hmm. And if there is something missing, we definitely try to get back and we try to make, you know, um, improvements um, e. over there. So what about you? Yeah, no, I feel the same. I feel that uh, as, uh, as women in tech, uh, and there, unfortunately, there is still some bias about it, right? So I feel like I'm more... Uh, responsible uh, in a way that I double check everything. I just want to make sure that I have all the information. I prepare myself sometimes even better, I think, because I don't want to uh, get anything wrong. So I think this helps uh, to build trust with yes. customers, with coworkers. Uh, and there is uh, some some things that uh, we personally have, like being more maybe detail oriented, you know, just like you said, and this is like really good qualities that I think as women, we can bring to, to the table. Yeah, yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Yes, I definitely agree with you. And I think in spite of some initial hesitation, I think over time, we develop that trust mm -hmm. with the customer, mm -hmm. which is um, very positive. Yeah. And the environment is always about growth yeah. and looking towards the future. And I think that has it has been a very positive experience overall. Yeah. Um, and what about your um, advice? What kind of advice you would uh, you know give to young uh, women that are interested in the? So my main advice would be that cybersecurity is a big developing field for the future, mm -hmm. and 
It's in high demand, to, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it is in high demand. Um, you are all on the internet today. You have to. You mm -hmm. have to be able to uh, navigate the internet, navigate your communication mm -hmm. um, with you know the cybersecurity knowledge. So I would say, from very very different backgrounds, we all can contribute. And mm -hmm. we all can make a big difference. Everything is changing at this point with the introduction of AI, mm -hmm. especially. Mm -hmm. Everything is changing and the future is still wide open. So I think cybersecurity needs a lot many more young people and a lot of um, female engineers who can come in. And I think it will welcome and embrace everyone. Yeah. I personally would advise, you know, um, young women or, I mean, any age, to be honest. Uh, I think it's not never too late to start uh, if you really want. Uh, but it, basically, my main advice is don't be intimidated, you know, because sometimes uh, women get intimidated by things, especially because we are maybe not that much well represented, right, in the field. So uh, don't be intimidated, you know, don't be afraid to try and see what you think. Uh, I know that tech is not something for everybody. Not everyone likes tech, but if you do, definitely I would recommend that you do your best to, to get involved in training, certifications, try to find groups like meetup groups that definitely uh, help me a lot to meet new people, uh, to be in contact with people that have the background that I want to acquire, right? Mm -hmm. um, and here at Checkpoint, especially, right, Ruchi, yes. we have some pro really good programs. I think that's such amazing thing that uh, we support women uh, in a way that we see uh, women represented in all different departments, in different levels. How do you think that has um, influenced you, Katia, as an engineer when you joined Checkpoint? Oh, a lot. Okay. I always admired Checkpoint as a company uh, because of the technology. Uh, but coming to Checkpoint, joining the team, I'm always really happy to see how well represented we are uh, in all different levels. So just for example, here at Checkpoint, we have 44%, almost 50% of women in the top um, executive positions that are responsible in managing 77% of the entire you know, uh, organization. So this is really empowering, I think, for women. Uh, yeah, so I, I really love the idea that the Checkpoint, uh, you know, Checkpoint as a company really uh, trust and, you know, embrace diversity. This yes. is not only for women. Yes. We have a really big uh, team where we see diversity everywhere. Yes, and I think um, having um, some of our very high higher ups um, as female, and especially I would say Dr. Dorit Dor, since we are on the technical side, oh, yeah. she is such an inspiration for she us. She's our hero, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, and we love to hear her talk, and we love to hear her opinions on the technology, not only for today's technology, but her opinions on the future of AI and the future of cybersecurity as a whole. Yeah, and I think it's not only women, right? We see that everyone in all events that we have, everyone is expecting, looking forward to hearing from her. So she's really well uh, respected yes. and this is really empowering. Yeah, yes. definitely. Yes. So how about you? What would you advise people who are trying to get into cybersecurity? Um, so I think for women, uh, young women, actually all ages are welcome. It's never too late to, you know, be a technical person in the cybersecurity uh, field. I would just advise, my main advice would be don't be intimidated, you know, uh, don't be afraid to try and see if you like it. Because basically, I know that tech is not something for everybody. Not everybody likes tech, right? Uh, but if you do, you should try. And, uh, you know, I try to see the challenges 
in our life and even as being a minority in this field, uh, I try to use the challenge to motivate myself. So I would also give this advice, you know, um, instead of seeing things as not possible uh, when they are difficult, we should use these challenges as things to motivate us to learn more, to grow, you know, so don't be intimidated, don't be afraid, just uh, use this as motivation to learn and be ready, uh, do your best to, to be ready try to um, see the main goal um, and if it is too hard it seems too hard to achieve the main goal try to create small goals that will help you to get to the main goal that you have uh, so that's my main advice don't no. be intimidated at all no, I totally agree with you. And I think the fact that you brought up challenges and how we view all of these new technologies as challenges mm -hmm. is something very important. I think as human beings, as um, engineers, we have to like to solve issues and mm -hmm. solve problems. And uh, that is such great advice that you just gave everyone. Mm -hmm. I think um, overcoming our challenges and looking at challenges as a source of motivation is one of the best advices I've heard. Yeah, and it's worth it. It's worth it. So, Ruchi, what do you think about, you know, the challenge that we have in the cybersecurity field now? So, as of right now, I think one of our main challenges is AI. AI not only helps, or rather the first thing we think about is, oh, AI will help us do better threat prevention. But I think the problem is also equally big. AI will help the offenders mm -hmm. get much more vicious. They will get much more stronger. Mm -hmm. So I think AI is one of our biggest challenges, which as uh, a member of the tech industry, we all have to meet. We all have to um, you know, start focusing on more intently. Um, Checkpoint currently has 40 um, AI engines, mm -hmm. which we use in our threat cloud to prevent any kind of, you know, uh, new cyber attacks, but we are continuing to grow. And I think that is one of our biggest challenges coming in the future. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. And I mean, uh, the fact that we have the threat cloud basically as the main brain, let's say, to all our solutions, security solutions, right? This is, this is great. Yeah, I agree with you. So, well, thank you so much, Ruchi. It was great to talk to you yes, today thank you, yeah, about our well. experience, experience as a women in tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I hope that this can help other, you know, women to come and join us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.